My brothers and sisters, you are now watching the Gamer 2323, so just forget about the chores you're supposed to do. Put your feet up, get your Kool-Aid fried chicken popcorn, get whatever you may need! And I hope you enjoy the video. That's literally the best way that I could put it. Anthem feels like a big TV dinner with no salt. <laughs> <sighs> yo, yo, yo. What's going on, my brothers and sisters? Um, I was contemplating doing this video just because I wasn't really sure if I even wanted to spend the time on it, <laughs> to be honest with you, after I played the demo. But, you know, I'm trying to upload more uh, frequently uh, this year compared to last year. And on top of that, this was one of my top five games that I was looking forward to this year. And after playing the uh, 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 demo pretty much is what the game is going to be like. <laughs> like demos aren't demos no more betas aren't betas no more betas are demos and demos are pretty much what you're getting in the game <laughs> you know so uh wanted to do my um first impressions of a game i was really looking forward to uh this year um anthem 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 Oh, how I had expectations for you, and <laughs> you know, and I ain't gonna crap on this uh game, you know, just cause it is a demo. <laughs> it is a demo, pretty much again what you're gonna be expecting in the game, but it is a demo. So I didn't want to, you know, just completely crap on it. And plus, I didn't think it was necessarily horrible. But just in case you haven't played, you know, the demo for Anthem, um, I was unfortunately disappointed with it. Um, I'm going to say some stuff I like, some stuff I didn't like, you know, uh, about the uh, game. Um, I think Anthem comes out this month. I thought I, I thought it was in March. This junk comes out February 22nd, I think, you know. Um, and again, like when they showed it at E3, I think it was E3 2017, I think that was one of the best games of that show to me like i think they showed it at um the first time we said oh, i thought it was at ea's conference the first reveal of anthem i'm like yo this jaw looks um quite uh interesting to me all right so the first thing is um i really do like the whole like exosuit type you know gig thing to where you know you're flying around in these you know uh mechan you know these mechanical exosuits and stuff you you, you kind of feel like iron man you know when like he's in the freaking iron man suit just flying around honestly when i'm doing that i'm just thinking man like what could they do with the iron man game we just saw what insomniac did with with spider-man i don't know if that's a good thing but when i but when i'm playing anthem and i'm flying around in the, in in the suit i'm not even thinking about anthem i'm thinking about Yo, if we could get an Iron Man game, like, <laughs> I'm not even thinking about the game. Like, I really do like that part about, you know, just the whole flying around in, in the suit. And again, this isn't really, especially now, this this hasn't, this isn't really like, maybe, you know, some years back, this would have been like groundbreaking. But we've been there, you know, with the whole exo suit thing and, you know, the jet packs and the thrusters and, you know, we've seen Titanfall try it you know it seems like Anth like anthem is trying to take it to the next level you know we've seen it in call of duty um infinite warfare like this isn't really even new no more like so people you know you're either like a fan of this you know uh of this you know few you know of this futurized you know shooting games or you're not you know but i really do like that aspect of anthem you know the whole exosuit thing you know when you gear up and like get into the suit it looks good and stuff like that the flying feels good um the visuals look they they look pretty solid it definitely doesn't look as good as when they first revealed this game most likely because it was being shown on a freaking high-end pc <laughs> you know it, it, it does it definitely doesn't look as good as when we first seen this game you know but it still doesn't look bad the visuals are you know solid you know um the feels of the guns are decent you know when you know when you're in um you know battle and you're shooting guns and stuff it doesn't feel bad uh doesn't feel necessarily like perfect neither i i, I do feel like some 
some guns just like the sound of the guns or you know they might just not feel as like solid and sound as powerful as you would want them but the guns for the most part as far as the gunplay the gunplay is decent you know again not everything about this game nothing really stands out like oh my god this is amazing everything that i actually did find myself liking in this game is either solid or decent nothing is amazing in this game um at least in my opinion <laughs> you know but those are really the only three three things that i could point out that i liked about the game you will have uh and again it's kind of and i i really feel but i i i don't want to get into that because that's like there's then i'm gonna get into the stuff that i didn't like about this game but you have this thing you know when like when you're in battle and you're fighting off the waves after wave of you know whatever creatures that they're called <laughs> you know you like build up you know this ultimate meter and then when that meet and then when that meter fills you like you can un you can unleash your exosuit's most powerful move that they have it might send out a whole bunch of rockets or i think based on which exosuit you're using because they have different classes each exosuit has a different ultimate you know so again kind of taking something from destiny and stuff like that but i thought that was pretty uh interesting let's get into the stuff that i didn't like first off um when this game was in closed beta like i was hearing from some people like yo this game is really good you're gonna be pleased when this junk come out one of my you know uh uh, uh buddies this is actually like he is more excited for this game than anything else this year he's like yo this like this is going to be the next thing and i'm like i <laughs> you know so he's like really looking forward to this game um and again i'm not really shocked by this you know because i also heard that people that were in the closed bed that they were saying hey this kind of feels like a third person destiny you know, which again, I'm not. I wasn't really shocked because even when they first showed Anthem, I'm like, oh, it looked like these suckers are trying to like outdo Destiny, like beat Destiny at its own, you know, at its own game, you know. But when they first showed it, Anthem did look kind of, you know, interesting to me. Um, and that's kind of like what it feels like, dude. I mean, again, not really shocking, but it honestly feels like a third person Destiny. And just in case you guys do not know. I am not a fan of Beneath the Ruins of a Cosmic. <laughs> I am not a fan of, I don't even have time to explain why I don't have time to explain. Destiny, I'm sure we all remember the whole Destiny era. When Destiny first came out in 2014, damn near everyone was hyped for this game. Like, this was, Destiny was supposed to be the next big shooter. When it first came out in 2014, like, it was like, yo is destiny that's why so many people's on that destiny bandwagon when destiny first came out you know i probably enjoyed it for like maybe three or four months but then i was just like yeah i think i'm done with this game but some people really liked the first destiny you know destiny even though a lot of players like left that game quickly a lot of players stayed and destiny did get a you know a pretty solid community a, a pretty solid community of uh players behind it because some people actually did like you know the whole rage thing you know and um the whole loot stuff and all the you know stuff that you could do in in, in uh, destiny but for me i was just like this junk is getting repetitive this junk is getting old why am i playing this game i'm going to the tower and i have legendary engrams and i'm taking it and and i'm taking it to this dude and i'm getting like green common stuff why am i playing this game <laughs> you know kind of feels like destiny and i've come to the conclusion that i'm just not a fan of these types of games i'm just not and if i was i i'd get back into warframe before i'd ever give destiny a shot again or the division what other stuff uh ghost recon wild like i don't i don't know if you guys know warframe I don't know how long this game has been out, but I, I remember when PS4 first came out, like Warframe was a free to play title, you know, on PS4. I'm sure it was first on PC, you know, but Warframe has been going on for a while now. And just in case you guys don't know, this junk is still getting updates. It still has, you know, uh, a good solid community, a community of players that play it. it it's like, it, it just got like a, 
update like not too long ago like i'm talking about like a very few months ago and like it was like this huge you know update and stuff like that and they got like new like they are still updating warframe if i was to give any of these you know anthems or destinies or the or the divisions a shot i'd get back into warframe before i try any of these other <laughs> other titles because warframe has that has actually shown like hey we're going to continue putting stuff in this i'm not a fan of these games because i don't like destiny i don't like the division the division the, the the division 2 is supposed to come out this year as well i haven't even i'm sure there's trailers out there for i'm sure there's gameplays i haven't even i haven't even shown the effort to care to look up the division 2 <laughs> like i do not care about the about the division i just feel like it's just not gonna and i'm i feel like i'm not a fan of these types of shooters and i feel like i am getting tired of the whole you know huge open world rpg you know loot shooters i'm tired of it i'm tired of it bruh like every shooter doesn't have to be you know this massive open world loot system to where like you gotta I, I i'm just tired of it i'm tired of it <laughs> i'm tired of it bro so I, i've come to the conclusion that i'm just not a fan of these types of games um the gameplay you know when i was playing anthem the demo you know on a, my uh on a, my a stream now of course you know some of the viewers i have these suckers are like and not just my viewers but a lot of gamers today and I was seeing this jump because people, I got so much, <laughs> I, got, I got so much stuff to say to get pretty much, you know, gamers today pretty much have uh, low attention spans. You know, if you can't get gamers, you know, involved in what's going on in your game, I say within the first 30 minutes to max an hour, your game is deemed trash from these gamers, you know. So, of course, you know, with that, you know, I'm playing Anthem. I'm really trying hard to enjoy this game, but my freaking chat is just like, bro, get off this game. This junk is trash, <laughs> dude. I'm just like, bro, just, just let me give it a shot, you know. But I'm trying to play Anthem. I'm trying to find some enjoy, some enjoyment from it, and I did find that enjoyment, you know, with the whole flying around and the exosuit stuff thing. But they got this shoehorned storyline in it, you know, with these generic characters. I think one of the characters' name was a uh, Matthias or something like that, or Matt or Matthias or something like that. They literally like it was some junk that happened. Like you had to pick up this like item and bring it back to him, and then like the item made three of the same character, but each character was like acting different, and I'm just like. I don't <laughs> I don't know if it's just like bruh <laughs> it's, it's, I just feel like I have a lower tolerance of bad storylines. Like before I just feel like I could still like get into it. Now it's like if I see that it's a shoehorn storyline or you just like threw in threw in like some type of story just to say hey we have we do have like lore behind <laughs> if i see that i just can't get into it so i'm streaming this junk and i'm just looking at this one character become three characters and i'm just <laughs> and i'm just like i am not paying attention to this story in the, the least bit you know but they do have some type of story in it, but it's like shoehorned into the game. Um, so yeah, it, it's just I I I was uh, I was incredibly disappointed from when I was playing Anthem. Again, I don't think it's a horrible game, but as far as this was one of my top five most anticipated games this year. And after playing that demo, and again, these demos are not demos today. That's what a de a, a, a demo used to be. A demo, like it, it just used to give you like a little. A little sample, like a little Sam's Club sample, a little Costco sample. Now demos are essentially the game, but they just like have locked off parts of it. And you know when you know and when you're playing the freaking 
demo they're like oh this is not available uh, this is not available this is not available yet in the uh demo but hey if you want to pre-order anthem you can go <laughs> and stuff like that so it's just like i know this is how the base game is going to be like they they just have like locked off portions and stuff like that and it's just i just feel like uh i still might get this game but as far as this becoming you know this being one of my top five games this year and it was going to be a day one cop i'd have to say this junk might be a bargain bin pickup like when this junk is on sale for like 20 30 because i do not feel like with games like this especially you know these like open world mmo R rpg you know shooters they need updates before they get better they need updates like so i feel like it's going to take multiple updates for anthem to actually and again i don't want to completely crap on the game i i'm, I'm trying not to <laughs> i'm trying not to but again i've come to the conclusion that i'm just not a fan of these types of games i just felt like when i was playing that junk it had no like you know when like like you know when you buy tv dinners and like you're and like you're eating it you know and this food and you know sometimes it might fill you up even but it just feel like it has like no soul behind it that's what anthem feel like it, it feels like a tv dinner like it got some stuff in there that's like edible but there's no soul behind it there's no like seasoning on it there's no like there's no gravy no it's just a tv dinner <laughs> That's literally the best way that I could put it. Anthem feels like a big TV dinner with no soul. <laughs> I don't want to, I'm trying not to crap on this game, but that's really how I felt after the demo. Like, man, this is a big TV dinner that, you know, might fill up some people. But after a while, you get tired of eating TV dinners day in, day out. You're like, no, I want some, I want some actual food. I want to go to the restaurant and get some, you know, you know, get like an actual plate of food. You know, I, I want to go to, to my grand, to, you know, to my grandma's house and get like some actual homemade cooking. And Anthem just doesn't feel like that to me. And, you know, again, this could be because I found I'm not a fan of these types of games, but that's just how I felt after I played the, uh, demo you know so um unfortunately i was really disappointed you know with the anthem and i actually do say that genuinely i was unfortunately disappointed with this uh demo because i was really looking forward to this game um again maybe you know when it you know hopefully i'm wrong and when this junk comes out like it's way better and they're like really on top of this game and stuff like that because i'm not sure but didn't mass effect and drama and didn't mass effect and drama take a uh, take a hit because a lot of the bioware team like went on to work on this game or something like that so if this what y'all been working on like i hope it turns out good i hope this jump just don't be like man well we tried let's go on to the next project <laughs> Nah, I hope it I hope it turns out good like please prove me wrong like I don't want to like I, I don't want this game to fail but that's just how I feel about it uh, right now but yeah man um that is all that I have to say about uh Anthem right now um did you guys get a chance to play the uh demo uh if you did what did you guys think about it were you even excited for this junk to come out you know there's been like when i'm like e even before i played this demo like a lot of a lot of my viewers they don't even seem like they were checking for anthem they're like anthem i forgot about that <laughs> i'm just like <laughs> you know so were so were you even looking you know checking for anthem you know did uh, you play the, the demo what did you think about it? let me know all that down in the comments below uh hope you guys enjoyed this video man and yeah man anthem We'll see. But as of right now, another one bites the dust. Do, 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 do.